Welcome to A Night for Internet Health. I'm Veronica Belmont, and I'll be your host for the evening. Basically everything that's exciting about technology these days relies on an internet that's healthy, open to competition and innovation, safe and welcoming for everyone. I wasn't sure what internet health was. I thought it sounded like a euphemism for net neutrality. So I thought they were kind of one and the same, but I'm learning tonight that internet health is more multifaceted than just net neutrality. Now for some people, it was a tweet, it was an Instagram post, it was a Facebook post that got people to see that the world wasn't the world that they thought it was. People felt creeped out by what was happening online. Some of it was about privacy, some was about their personal safety, some of it was about the fact that almost every one of the business models relied on essentially surveilling us. I learned a lot from all of the people who were involved in the event. It was really great to listen to these different perspectives, these different thinkers and their experiences on the internet. Anybody who in any way presents as a woman online, there is a danger of just a mental toll, but sometimes a real world physical threat. It brings up a lot as a woman hearing what other women have to say about women not really being able to have a strong presence or voice on the internet like men get to but instead we get bullied a lot more often. I love the diversity at the event. There's a great mix of everyone that's kind of trying to help keep the internet healthy, open, and alive as we know it. It made a great case for why we need to keep the net out of the hands of corporate influence and you know profit making strategies and privatization. Water is a human right, but I also believe that the internet is a human right at this point. Because of all those things that it opens up to people. The internet is one of the last free marketplaces for information that exists. And without the freedom of that, then we become controlled in the way that radio, television, movies, they depend on somebody with money saying you can do it. The internet has this free portal, this free door. It doesn't cost any money to walk in, doesn't cost any money to code, and it's important that we have that area of freedom.